Hey guys, Trent from Unity Tactical here. Today we're going to walk through gas cap and link installation on your Surefire compatible light. You'll receive your gas cap in a bag just like this. For installation instructions, use your phone and scan the QR code. In the bag, you'll get a gas cap, a rubber port plug, and two pieces of our cage assembly. In this demonstration, we're going to use different color cage with a black cap so you can just see the difference better. To install, simply remove the old tail cap from your light and screw gas cap on, ensuring not to cross thread it. Thread it on until it stops rotating and then give it about another sixteenth of a turn to ensure it's tight and you can test with the clicky button on the back. Once you have your gas cap installed on the flashlight, you can either use it without a switch using a plug or you can use a link compatible switch by plugging in your link switch here. The next step is to install the cage. If you're using a plug, put the top of the cage over, doesn't matter either way, flip it over and then start on the non-cable routing side. We click that side in and then you click the opposite side in. It's easier to install the cage without a connector. If you'd like to install it with a connector or a switch, you want to install it so the cable routing side is on the side that the cable comes out of the light. It can either be routed backwards or forwards. In this case, we'll route it forwards on the light. Install it, ensuring that your cable isn't pinched. Using the same technique, install the cage on the non-cable routing side, and then install the cage clip on the other side of the light. Now your cage is fully installed. So your cable is completely protected and it's routed through. Both sides of the clip are secure. Again, to remove it, put your fingernail in the clip, pull one side off, the clip will come off, and you can remove your switch. It's important not to pull on the cable, but to support both sides as you remove it. Now we're going to install gas cap and a Link Axon SL on a rifle. We already have our light installed here, so the first step is to take the gas cap and screw it on to the flashlight body. You'll notice that the plug, in this case, the link connector, is facing out. So we probably want to route our cable underneath the light to protect it. All right, now we're going to install our Axon SL for link switch with our gas cap. In the package, you'll receive a switch, two rails, two nuts, and two screws. Whether that's an Axon SL, Axon, or Mod Button light, the parts will be generally the same. The easiest thing to do is find the rail with the hex or inserts for the nuts. Lightly press each nut into the insert spot, flip it over on a table, and push down so they're seated. Now, to get the switch where we want it, we can remove the gas cap and we can preload the screws into the other side rail grabber. We have the nuts pressed in to the nut side of the clamp and the screws preloaded into the screw side. Find the spot on your rail where you'd like your Axon SL switch. Insert the screw side clamp and then mate that up with the nut side clamp. Using a T10 wrench and capturing the nut with your finger on the other side, lightly tension both screws. It's important not to over tighten these. They do not need much and it's, it is possible to pull the nuts through the clamps if you over tighten them. Now we have our switch installed. The next step is to take our gas cap screw it back onto our light and route the cable however we'd like to. Once we know where the connector is going to end up, in a lot of cases it's actually easier to unscrew the gas cap just a little bit. Once you've got your cable plugged in, it's time to install the cage. We're going to be using a different color cage just so you can see the difference. Install the cage with the cable routing side over the cable. In this case, we're going to push the cable forward, but you could push the cable to the rear 
if that fit your setup better. Once that's done, you can rotate the gas cap as necessary and you're going to install the bottom portion of the cage. It's easiest to start on the non-cable routing side. So feed that under until it clicks. And we'll spin it around so you can see. Feed that under until it clicks. Make sure your cable isn't pinched and secure the other side. Once that's secured, you can tighten the gas cap again, like we discussed previously, and finish routing your cable. You can test your switch and your onboard button, and you're all ready to go.